Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to be working with events. All right, so we're going to receive the event in order to display basically our sweet alert component right here and to refresh our index parent component of our edit component right here. So as you can see, if we press the edit button right now, let's quickly click it. All right, so let's update PHP just to add uh, T or TD. Okay, so let's quickly press update. Now, as you can see, the parent component is not updating the new data. So it's basically our index view is not displaying the TD until we refresh the page right here. All right. So instead of doing a hard refresh like that, we just want the index component to basically refresh. So we're going to send an event to this index component to the refresh as soon as the child component edit is updated all right so that's another one so that's the first image the second one is we're going to actually work with our suite alert right there okay let's start off with the first one all right so let's quickly open our two components under app http live wire under tags you will see we have our index one so this one will receive the basically this emit event that we're going to file off in our edit one right here okay so that's the first thing all right so when we update the component we want to emit an event so we're going to say this emit okay so we want to emit what event you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to call this one saved event all right so let's quickly do that now in our index one this is the one that we want to refresh with the new data so we're just going to do a protected listeners all right, and then we just do protected listeners. And then we're going to listen for that saved event. All right, so when we receive that saved event, we're just going to refresh this component. So, right, so refresh like this. All right, and let's save that. Okay, let's quickly see when we update the component, it emits this event, and then it's going to refresh this component with a new data. Just before we do that, this mustn't be a comma. It needs to be an arrow. It kind of, when we see this, it needs to do this. So that I just, instead of a comma, just make sure you have that in there. All right, so let's quickly check this out. All right, so if I delete the TD and I press an update, you can see it updates the index right there. It removes it and it updates it with a new data. Right, so that's the first part. Now the next part is we need to work and receive our sweet alert right here. Okay, so let's do that. Right, so like I explained in the previous episode, there's two ways we can actually dispatch an event to actually display a sweet alert toaster message. Right, now let's start off with the first one. This one is going to be to dispatch a browser event. Okay, so we're just going to say dispatch in a browser event. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to call this one updated. All right, so that is the name of the event. All right, so the second part right here is the title. So the title will be uh, that we're going to say, what will be the message be? So the message will be tag updated. Okay, so you can call this whatever you want. Now, the next part is the icon. Like I explained when we installed Sweet Alert, the icon can be success, a warning, or question or whatever the case might be in my case i'm just going to make that a success okay now this part right here is the icon color and we're going to set that to be a green color okay so just like this all right for those that might be new the icon that i just wanted to show you the success if a little tick right there an error have this a warning have an exclamation info that and a question this so you can obviously decide however you want to do this i will leave a link in the description for you guys to go and click to go and read more about this all right so this is the first part of our dispatch all right so now we need to listen for that and we're not going to listen in the component we're going to actually go to the view right here in the previous episode we add push the scripts basically to our layout so under layout guest layout we receive it under stack scripts right here now we need to basically listen for that event right so now we need to 
create do some JavaScript. For those that might not understand JavaScript, please bear with me right here. But this is how you're going to do that. All right, so on so between your two your push scripts tags right there, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script like this. All right, so what that allows us to do to put vanilla JavaScript between these tags. Okay, so what we want to do now is on window. All right, what we want to do on the window is we want to add an event listener. Okay, so event listener. Okay, uh, let me just make sure I spell that right. All right, so what we want to listen for, we want to listen for that updated event. All right, so let me just quickly go in here. So I'm firing off this event, I'm dispatching this event to the basically to listen to. All right, so the updated, if you named it something else like Joe Soap or whatever the case may be, just make sure that you this name right here, you spell it the same. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right, so the next thing is we're going to create a method. A function and we're going to pass the event parameter right there okay so let me just put in here now the thing is we're going to get that swell all right swell dot fire this is the sweet alert right here and we just want to fire off that event okay and then we just want to do this okay now the first part right here the title we're just going to get the title and that's going to equal to the event and then we just want to get the detail title all right so the detail is just as parameter that we're passing through but the one that we receive right here we're going to get the detail we're going to get the title right there okay so the detail title the next thing is we want to get the icon all right so the icon is going to e dot detail dot icon Right, the next one is obviously the icon color. So let's just do that. So icon color, and that is going to equal to e dot detail dot. All right, the next thing that we want to do, we need to add in the timer. Okay, the timer you can decide however long you want to do this. I'm just going to make this one uh, almost thirty minutes. Three minutes, no. Three minutes, 30,000 milliseconds. That's three minutes. So I'm just going to make it three minutes. I just want the timer to go as uh, basically as long as possible so that you guys can easily see it. The next one is the toast. All right. So if you set this to false. Okay. Now what will happen? It will display a big toaster instead of a small little one at the corner right there. But we're just going to set this one to true. I'll just want a little one the next one right here this will be for the position where do you want to position this and now what i will do is i will leave a link in the description for you guys to obviously go and read the documentation but now i'm just going to add my top right I like that okay so that's the position i want it to be in the next one is i just want a time timer progress bar so timer progress bar and i'm just going to set that to true and the last one right here this will be show confirmation button so confirm button and i'm just going to set that to false i don't want a confirmation button so i'm just going to set it to false and just like this All right so that's the first part so that's how we can dispatch an event let's see if this work All right so i'm just going to add double d's triple d's all right, so as you guys can see, I've got a little message right there, tag updated, and that will stay a while like that because I'm saying for three minutes. But obviously by default, you will change it to be only three seconds. So I'm just going to delete this, these again. So let me just remove that. All right, so as you can see, tag updated right there. Awesome stuff. All right, so this is the one way to do it obviously with the browser okay now let me just comment this one out actually just cut it out the next way to do it is obviously with the meta event so i'm just going to copy this out so let me just the next one is if we dispatch uh, a emit event all right and we're going to call this one update did as well and i just want to pass in the same parameters to that component so let me just to the event so let me just copy this and paste it in there all right now the difference will be now we will have 
we still use the same script tags okay just like that but now what we do is we say live wire dot on okay so on what on the updated event okay then run a function and we're just going to pass in the same thing an event parameter okay and then we're just going to say swell sweet alert basically swell.fire so if anyone is new and wonder where i get the swell from so if we go to our resources js app js you can see i'm referring to this swell right here this one okay so let's go back swell.fire and then we just want to file off this now the thing is we're not going to do it the same way let me just actually put this on top right there and just cut this out quickly right so I, this is the browser one i just changed it back to three seconds top right everything is still true like that okay now the thing is this one is for the emit event this one that we're listening to not the browser event okay now in here in remember here we're using the detail right there this one we're just going to do e dot title okay so let's just put quickly in the title i'm just going to do the first one and then we're just going to be e title just like that okay all right and then you can have the same parameters that you would normally have for that in here okay so instead of the e detail title we just add e title e icon and stuff like that okay so if you change this to be an event let's say you wanted the full name just make sure you put event like here okay so event event etc all right so that's an end of this episode so let's just make sure this work actually before we do that so let's just cut this out before we do that let's just make this work as well right so the event parameter everything is good make sure i got the name right so updated and this i put back updated let's just make it updated all right so just on updated just make sure that we display that all right so let's quickly click this button and quickly see if we can just put new in here and press update and hopefully it works now as you can see tag updated right there with the timer and it disappears all right thank you guys for watching if you liked the video please give it a like if you have any questions feedback or suggestions please leave with me in the comment section and with regard to the suggestions i do read them i do make a list and if we might get to them we might get to them if not we just make another series for that as well all right thank you guys see you in the next one please like the video and see you there Adiós.